Final Cut Pro 10 is integrated with iPhoto. Check out this short tutorial on how to create a video slideshow using Final Cut Pro 10. For starters, import some pictures into iPhoto. Then go back to the Final Cut Pro 10 application. Navigate to the Final Cut Pro toolbar and click on the Photo Browser button. This will bring forward the Photo Browser window, which will give you access to all your images within iPhoto. Select a group of photos and drag them to the Timeline window. A dialog box may appear, saying the video properties are not recognized. Go ahead and choose the video properties that you'd like to use and press the OK button. Now, if you're not happy with the default duration of your still images, it's easy to change the duration of all your clips at the same time. Verify that all your clips are selected within the timeline window and press Ctrl D. Then enter the new duration within the timecode dashboard display area. This will automatically adjust the duration of all your clips within the timeline. Okay, if you're working with any of the HD widescreen video properties, your standard digital photos won't fill the screen area. To fix this, click on the Transform Effect icon in the bottom left corner of the viewer window. Then drag one of the blue handles in the corner of the image to scale it so it fits the screen. Now all the clips have been properly formatted for a 16 by 9 screen size. Now, you may also need to adjust the areas of the picture that are displayed within the widescreen area. Go ahead and place the playhead indicator above a clip within the timeline, and then adjust the image within the viewer window. You can also add a transition to all your clips at the same time. To do this, click on the Transitions button. Within the Transitions browser window, double-click on the transition that you'd like to use between all your clips. OK, it's that easy. For other great tips like this, or to enroll in a Final Cut Pro 10 training class, visit GeniusDV.com.